Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a unique effect where we're going to use something called scramble text. I was recently playing a game called Hack Mud, which is kind of like a hacking simulator and this kind of inspired me to create the same effect for a website. So let me show you here what I'm talking about. So like I said, Hack Mud is um, it's a game, online game, hacking simulator and if you notice here when you hit enter when the text comes up on the display, it kind of has this scrambling effect where it comes in by blocks. You'll see a better example here. So I thought that looked pretty cool and I was wondering if we could create something similar in Motion Page. So you'll notice here I'm going for a similar effect. This is just a home page that I've created using similar fonts and colors. Uh, but there's no animations applied just yet. It's just a basic page as you can see. So what I'm going to do is go into bricks and add some classes to the text and then with those classes we can target them in motion page to add some effects. So before that I'll just show you the setup in bricks real quick. So if I just go to pages, all pages, edit with bricks here on the home page. And as you can see nothing too special. We just have some text here a title, we have three cards here also with some text inside and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a class called scramble and I'm going to apply it to the text where I want the scrambling effect to take place. So let's do it on this one. Scramble. We'll also add it to this one here. We'll add it to this big chunk here. I'm going to add it to my main title here and then we'll add it to these elements also. So I'm just going to copy the styles here and paste and then we'll do the same for the text chunk here. All right, so I've added the class of scramble to every element that I want the effect to take place. And I'm just going to save this over here. And now we'll work our magic once again in motion page. All right, so I've just opened motion page here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new timeline. For this, I'm just going to call it scramble text. And if I want this animation to take place on every single page, then I'm just going to make sure to check this one. And for this example, I want this to happen on scroll trigger. Now I want the animation to take place instantly as soon as it hits the green line. So I'm just going to bring these two lines together and I'm going to put them both at 45%. So just above halfway of my display. The next thing I want to do is I just want to change this also to be top. And then I want to trigger each iteration individually because as you know, each element here has the same class. Now, if one of those classes hits the line, then they're all going to take place, which we don't want. So just make sure that this one is toggled on. And then for the animation, I'm going to target the class of scramble. When I highlight this, you can see the first instance of the class is highlighted, which is good. And now we can add our animation. So the first thing I want to control is the opacity. I want all of the text to start out with an opacity of zero. So now as I scroll down, you can see each iteration is individual of one another until it hits the line, which is perfect. Now, the next thing I want to do is go to the custom box here. And then I want to click on this button to add some GSAP. And this is where we're going to use scramble text now. So in this box, what we want to type is scramble text with an uppercase T colon. And then we'll do some curly braces like this. And then we can add some properties in here. The first one is going to be the characters that we want to use. So it's going to be chars like this. We'll use speech marks and then separate by a comma. We can also have a reveal delay. And then here we can add a number. In this case, I'm just going to use 0 0.2. We can also have a speed. And I want the speed to be pretty fast. I'm going to use 0 0.1 here. And then we also have a duration. 
and I'm going to use 0.2 for this. So for the characters, we can actually use anything if I just type, for example, 0, 9 many times like this. When I scroll down now, well, let me just refresh the builder here. As you can see, the text starts out as 0909, like so. So I've noticed also we can actually use characters. Now, I basically went online to find these characters. It's just kind of like uh, weird symbols that we can use. And if I just paste them over here, you can see we have kind of this, um, this block here, full block, a dotted block, a short size block, and then the same block as we're using at the beginning. So now, as I scroll down, let me refresh this once more. You can see that we are getting these blocks coming up, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll just refresh again. Now it's quite fast, but there's uh, some more animation properties that we can use down here to make this look a little bit better. The first one I'm gonna use is split text. So I'm just gonna split everything up by characters. I also wanna use stagger. I'm gonna use one second and I'm going to set this to be random. And obviously each is taking way too long. So we want this to be a total of one second. So just click on this to change it to the amount. And now you can see we get this really cool effect happening. So if I save timeline and then we'll have a look at this on the front end now. So remember, we have a title here. As soon as that hits the green line, we get this effect. And once again, we get this cool effect going on. Now on the game itself, Hackmud the game, it doesn't really have these two characters. So if I just remove them temporarily, it looks more like this. And then we can do random. Uh, we can even change this to 0 0.5, make it much quicker. So this looks a little bit more related to the game now, like so. So a pretty cool effect. And once again, yeah, this was inspired by the Hackmud video game. I don't believe we've done a video on scramble text before. So I just thought I'd show you an example of how you could use it. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up. And if you've not already, please do consider subscribing. And we'll be back soon with some more content for Motion Page. Thank you very much, guys.